snowleopards. The population is at an estimated 4,080 to 6,590. Snow leopards typically live in cold high mountains in China, Bhutan, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Russia, and Mongolia. The reason I chose this animal is that when I was younger, I loved snow leopards and whenever we went to the zoo, I would run to see them first. Also, the snow leopard at the Santa Barbara Zoo Everett recently passed away and he was the oldest known snow leopard in the world at 22 years old. The reason they're endangered is that they're being hunted by farmers because they tend to prey on their livestock and snow leopards prey is often hunted by humans. Another fact is that their scientific name is Panthera unica, the vaquita. The population number is about 10 individuals. They typically ha inhabit the northern part of the Gulf of California. The reason I chose this animal is because I realized how small the population of the species is, and the more people that know about this, the better. The reason this animal is endangered is that they get tangled and drown in fishing nets. Another fact is that the vaquita's scientific name is Phocinia sinus. The population of the giant panda is about 1,864 in the wild and many more around zoos in the world. The habitat of the giant panda is forests of southwest China. The reason I chose this animal is because they're really cute and they're one of my favorite animals. The reason this animal is endangered is because due to forest loss in its inhabited areas, it no longer has food or space to live. Another fact is that the adults can grow up to four feet tall. The bluefin tuna. There is not an accurate number of population for the bluefin tuna, but from an estimate from a few years ago, there's about 1.6 million. Again, that's from a few years ago. Bluefin tuna live in oceans all over the world. The reason I chose this animal is because I actually love bluefin tuna, cooked always, and I didn't realize how endangered they were, and I didn't really know how bad it was. The reason this animal is endangered is because of overfishing. Other facts are that they can grow up to 6 to 10 feet and 1,500 pounds. Also, one sold in Japan for over $1.75 million. The first animal that I am talking about is manatees. Although their population is around 13,000, they still do qualify as an endangered species. Their habitat is seagrass beds, lagoons, rivers, canals, and estuaries. The reason that I care about manatees is because they're really cute, first of all. They are really, like, slow and, like, kind creatures, if that's a thing. And I actually pet one once, which is kind of cool. The reason that they're endangered is a lot of boat collisions because they will go up to a boat and the motor can hurt or kill them. Um, the reason, uh, and another reason that they're endangered is um, habitat loss and pollution. So that's all for manatees. The second animal that I'm talking about is cross river gorillas. There are only 200 to 300 left in the entire world. Their habitat is very deep in the forest. And the reason that I care about them is because the cross river gorillas, like every other animal, play a role in the food web and they're really smart creatures. The reason that they are endangered is because of hunting and poaching and habitat, habitat deconstruction. The Havan rhinos population is only 58 to 68 in the entire world. They live in tropical forests, and the reason that I care is because they are animals, and just like any other animals, they do not deserve to be poached. And their population is so low that it's very likely that they will go extinct, but that's what you would want to keep from happening. The biggest threat for them is poaching. Poachers would kill them and take their tusks to sell. Since the population is so low, even a natural like a small natural disaster could very easily take them out completely. 